Hi, so nice to see you again. Yeah, Kara, so nice to see you again. Oh, Christ, thank you for yeah. coming to the consulate this morning. So sorry that you are leaving Wuhan recently, but I'm sure that you will miss Wuhan from time to time in the future. I will. I'll miss China. I've spent so much of my diplomatic career. Maybe oh. half of my career has oh, been spent really? in China, oh. in Guangzhou, in Beijing, and now most recently in Wuhan. Um, and it's a, it's a great place to live now. I've really enjoyed my time here. I prepared a video. We interviewed you in early 2019. Ah, yes, I remember that event. I'm impressed by the greenness of the city. I think that I still stand by those comments. I, I still think that Wuhan is a lovely, green, sustainable city. Of course, in the last couple of years, we've been through a very difficult period. Mm -hmm. But I think that Wuhan people have been very resilient and that shows their strength of character. We have a lovely view of Wuhan looking across the, the riverside. Uh -huh. This is the Hankou side looking to Wenchang. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can show you around some of my uh, favorite local neighborhood places. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, yeah, let's, let's go. go. Thank you. So this is the park that you walk very often? Uh, this is a park that I walk through on my way to the office because I live just uh, over there. Mm. So I often see the traditional side of Chinese life here with uh, residents undertaking Tai Chi or their, their morning exercises or singing oh. in the evening. So it reminds me that I am in a different culture every day. <laughs> so you love this culture? Yeah, yeah, I find it quite relaxing in that sense. Mm. Yeah. You are also very concerned about uh, the environmental issue and hold several uh, activities like uh, uh, no plastic pads. That's right. Yeah, yes. To be together. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So on. Yeah. So which one is the most impressive? Well, I think the slogan we use "Together for Our Planet" encompass what we really want to achieve, and that's really that on an individual basis you can still make a difference to the the health of the planet mm -hmm. in how you behave. For example. In Wuhan, I know that in the last few years, there's been a very active recycling campaign, mm. which we're very supportive of. Yeah. Um, and protecting... The, the, we are, yes, there we go. Our goals are the same. Well, I actually yeah, live in this building here. Ah, so, uh, so you have a very good So I have view. a fantastic view, <laughs> yes. So I've seen the, the tallest building in Wuhan grow over the last four years. Ah. It's now fully complete. Ah. When I first arrived, it was just uh, half, half, the, the half the size. So the speed of development, uh, th that's a very good example of just how quickly things change in, in Wuhan. So what other places that do you will miss in Wuhan? Well, I'd really like to stay in Wuhan longer to see the uh, development of the restoration of the historical area in Hankou because they've made really good progress in that area but it's not complete yet. So some of the buildings have been restored um, but I really like to understand how they're going to be used in the future. Um, are they going to be for example public spaces or for office uh, space? Um, but I think it's a really exciting area of creativity in, in, in Wuhan. We have a Facebook account named Wuhan Plus. Wuhan Plus, okay. Yeah, maybe you can follow our account and know everything about Wuhan in the future. That'd be great. I will stay in touch. <laughs>